wish you had Papa Cap and Frank says instead of giving him the gun. No, Chloe, do not wish that. Neither do you. Is it too late to rewind? Okay. You have something here. Okay. Oh, nothing. Why do I have a star there? People need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank Are reality. Are these Caitlyn's class now? In the end, I'm worried we can only about her. For participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest, like Max Caulfield, for example, who I know can't wait to enter. Right? I'm sure you read the syllabus mm. like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my- No! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Dismissed. <laughs> See that? Is this for real? Uh oh. It flipped out. Uh oh. I think she was that messed up. This is not gonna be good. Kate! I knew it. No! Oh god. I, I have to do something to help her. She can't die. She can't. She won't. Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Okay. Whoa. Frozen time. We get a new power. Keep going, Max. Come on, you come. can do it. Come on, come on. Uh, come on, this way. Okay, how do I... the hell do I get up there? Move, move. This guy is running here. Go to the roof. Okay, okay. Yes! Yes. Come on. Oh. What are you doing here, Max? Stop. Don't come near me. Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Nope. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. Uh. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. 
You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Unless I put myself to sleep. And then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Uh... Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore, either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <sighs> Kate, I saw that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without question. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. Mom, easy now. Ugh, good. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Now I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen. As our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Uh, you're not going to believe. Nathan does her, Jefferson made her cry, David bullied her. We're gonna go with Nathan. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. 
You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. Screw you. See you in court. Screw Excuse you. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Uh, no, I'm gonna go with this. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen, ever. You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me, I'm a mess. You're glowing, seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. Now that is weird. See? Yeah, man. Smooth. You see? You see? I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Yeah, and I'm going to have to replace this music as well because of stupid copyright content. What's going on here? But 
that crane then to one day it's a faded scar so small but a part mm. of who you are though that scar will never heal the mind is still and time conceals the atom bomb is now just Rachel Kelly with every dawn I'm feeling stronger still some blood twist is coming Kate Okay, let's see. Episode 2, Out of Time. Let's see the choices. Skip. You told Kate to go to the police. You told Kate to wait for proof. 66% yes. You answered Kate called. 78% yes. Uh, you didn't try to shoot Frank. I'm in the minority. Well, I did try it the first time. You saved Kate's life, of course. What? You couldn't save Kate? weird so some people couldn't save Kate so she's not going to be an integral part of this story because you see you can't reconcile the different story paths hmm. you blame David Nathan of course 80% Nathan Mr. Jefferson what the <sighs> water the plant help Lisa Raised the link to Kate's video, of course. Friendly with Taylor, accepted the invitation. Yeah, of course, Warren. We gotta give him a break. Wrote a message, tamper with the rail tracks, uh, gain entry to the Vortex Club. You didn't gain entry to the Vortex Club party. Oh. I wasn't aware you could get an uh, entrance to the uh, party. You didn't help Warrant. What do you mean you didn't help Warrant? I did help Warrant. This is this is wrong. And you told him, David. Yes, of course. Uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, so that was uh, in the next episode. Episode 3, Chaos Theory. Hmm. Again, a picture of that van. Okay, guys. So that was episode 2 of Life is Strange. I hope you enjoyed it. That's it for now. See you next time. The Adam just glowing embers With every dawn I'm feeling stronger still But despite the slow decay It never goes away